Hello and welcome everybody to Pranayama to nourish your being, to build and strengthen your vitality. Pranayama actually comes in several different uh, species. There's cooling pranayama, there's heating pranayama, and there's neutral pranayama. So when we're talking about nourishing, usually we're talking about cooling. We're on the nourishing side. And one of the greatest techniques for cooling in yoga is this technique called shitali, this uh, rolled tongue with an inhalation. Um, so you roll your tongue like this. Nice roll. For some people, that's not possible genetically, if that's you then there is a variation. The variation is to just put your teeth together and put the tongue at the top and draw in the breath. And it still has a lot of the cooling effect and benefit. I'm going to guide you through a practice of that. Um, and we're going to end with a bit of a nice, short, deep meditation on the nourishing side. But before we do that, we're going to do a rather unusual technique. I would not recommend to do this for any long period of time, um, but we're going to do a technique to bring the energy onto the receptive side. So closing the right nostril, however you want, can be with your thumb, can be with your index finger, doesn't really matter. And then take a few long, deep breaths in and out. And you can experiment a little and really try to feel like you're receiving life force, experiencing the left side, the feminine side, the receptive side, receiving prana into the system. And the next time that you come to a full exhalation out of the left nostril, just rest your hands down onto your lap. If you like, you can touch your index and your thumb and place your hands downward on your knees. That's not so important. You can do whatever's comfortable for you. But if you like this mudra, it can also facilitate the process. Close your eyes, relax, get comfortable in your body. Make sure you're nice and straight. And we'll roll our tongue or do with the closed teeth and we'll take a long, slow inhalation. And then when you finish long exhalation through the nose, you can add ujjayi breath if you like. If you don't know that, just a long, slow, deep exhalation is fine. At the end of the exhalation, curl the tongue again and go into the next round. You want to be going at your own pace here, so the pace that's right for your breath. Nice and slow and even, not speeding up and slowing down. Nice and steady, all the way through the inhalation, all the way through the exhalation, making sure that you're getting a nice, full, long, deep breath.
In the next few breaths here, let's focus on the coolness of the breath. Really try to feel the coolness as it's in your tongue, maybe in your throat, maybe coming down into your body. Really concentrate on consciously bringing this quality of the cool, the receptive, into your being, into your body, through the breath. And last few rounds here. If you're not pregnant and uh, you know that holding the breath is okay for your body, you can add a brief pause after the inhalation before the exhalation and after the exhalation before the inhalation. So adding a full retention and avoid retention inside of this beautiful practice of Shitali or Shitkarim. And the next time that you come to a full exhalation, just let the breath return back into its natural rhythm. A moment of silent meditation, but before that, see if you can consciously dissolve the edge of your experience of the body. Try to feel like the environment that you're in and you There's not distinction between one and the other. Prana, life force, wind, vitality is just passing through everything. Passing through the room, passing through your body. And where the room and the space ends and you begin, not so easy to discern. The sharp boundary is rather soft, or maybe there's no boundary at all. Now into the natural flow of the breath, into a moment of shared silence.
and taking a moment just to bring your hands to heart center, a moment of gratitude. May all the beings in this world have some experience of the nurturing side of life, the yin side of life, that they discover the effortless harmony of their own hearts, the natural joy, the natural presence, to bring balance, groundedness, centeredness, and joy into this world. Om Shanti, Shanti, Om. Thank you.